So how do you know if and when it's time to stop microdosing magic mushrooms? I'm going to answer that question for you right now. Uh, I just wanted to reintroduce myself. I'm Dr. Dave. In case you don't know me, in case you're new to my channel, I really appreciate you. And here's where I share with you my experience and others' experiences as far as changing lives through magic mushrooms. And whether you're listening to me on my audio podcast or on my video channel uh, on YouTube, I really, really appreciate you. And help me spread the word if you can, if you think it's appropriate for friends or family members, whoever, to um, get this information. Please, please share it with them. We are changing the world one person at a time. Um, anyway, I also want to apologize for not being able to reply. I, I try to reply and respond to all messages and help everybody out. But for the past couple of weeks, my wife and I have been on this road trip in our RV van throughout. We live in, we live in Utah, so throughout Idaho, Montana, Glacier National Park, into Canada, the Canadian Rockies, Banff, Lake Louise. Uh, where else? Right now, I'm, I'm sitting on a, on a balcony in uh, Emerald Lake. I'm still in the Canadian Rockies. It's just, if you ever get a chance to come out here and visit this area um, of the United States and Canada, it's, it's so awesome. But anyway, um, I digress. I've been going through a lot of bad cell areas. I just can't get online like I usually am when I'm home or when I'm somewhere. So, I appreciate your patience, and it's not that I don't love you anymore. It's just that I have not been able to get online to answer many comments at all. Now, let's get back to the question that I asked at the very beginning. When is it appropriate, if and when, you should stop microdosing or using magic mushrooms as a medicine to help you with anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, insomnia, addiction? The list goes on and on and on. So I've been microdosing magic mushrooms for about, I guess, probably about 14 months now as I'm making this video. I started in April of 2021, um, and they have literally changed my life. I, I tried everything else, and nothing really helped my anxiety and my depression and my PTSD. Um, but when I, once I started using magic mushrooms, or using them as medicine, um, my world totally changed. And I could not imagine a time, because I really, not only were they helping me, but I enjoyed the feeling that I got while, I, while I'm microdosing, and I still do to this day. But I also heard along the way people that say, or told me that, you know, there comes a point where you don't really need them anymore. You're kind of, they kind of take care of you. You're kind of fixed, you're kind of cured, if it's okay to use that word cured. I don't know if we're ever cured, but you know what I mean. Um, so I can, but I can never imagine a time they were working so well for me and I was feeling so good. I can never ever imagine a time where I would just say, okay, I'm not using these anymore. I don't need them anymore. But here we are about 14 months later after beginning and I can understand, totally understand that now. Um, I feel right now totally at peace every single day. And it's the first time I've been able to say this probably in my entire life, or at least since I was a kid. First time ever. And I've, I'm, I've tried everything. I've tried, you know, um, talk therapy and all of the pharmaceuticals that they say you need to, to feel better about yourself and uh, combat anxiety. I tried it all. And the only thing that really, really changed my life has been the mi microdosing of magic mushrooms, psilocybin. That is Honestly, I guess it has reset my brain in some way that I have never felt like this before. So now, do I continue using magic mushrooms? Do I stop? Do I say I'm gonna stop, but I'm gonna occasionally take a maintenance dose? Well, I'm not really sure of that answer right now, but I can really totally now understand why some people have told me in the past that you get to a point where you don't need them anymore and you might wanna just take an occasional maintenance dose. And I think that's where I am right now. I think I feel so good. And sometimes I go for many days in a row without having to use magic mushrooms at all. I'm pretty confident that if I stopped using them now, my brain would be reset in a place that I would still continue to feel really, really good every single day. And yeah, maybe maybe a maintenance dose. I have inc started incorporating transcendental meditation into my daily routine as well. And I did a poll on my channel um, a few a couple days ago, and 
it seems like a lot of you don't even know what transcendental meditation is. I think it's also extremely powerful and it's something that I am going to touch on in a, in a future video. I'll be able to um, devote an entire video to transcendental meditation because I am learning that it is extremely powerful, especially when used as an adjunct to microdosing magic mushrooms. But again, getting back to the original question, when do we know it's time to stop? Do we ever stop? Do we have to stop? Again, I don't really have an exact answer to that, but now, 14 months later, I can honestly understand why people say you do not need to use magic mushrooms at like a pharmaceutical, because when you're on a pharmaceutical, when you're on something, for example, um, Lexapro or some type of SSRI or antidepressant or anti-anxiety, you pretty much have to use that for the rest of your life or it stops working. I do not believe psilocybin is the same way. I think once you get a reset, once your brain starts acting in different ways, in better ways, you do not have to continue using them. Or again, it might be the type of thing that you take an occasional maintenance dose just to keep it going. But I'm in that phase right now where I am starting to experiment with longer times off. And again, I'm gonna let you know I don't have the exact answer right now, but there will come a time where not only I will have the answer, but I will probably not need to be using microdosing the way I've been for the past 14 months. I hope that answers the question. Again, I'm honest enough to admit I don't have the exact answer, at least for me, but I am getting there. But I do finally understand why some people say, no, this is not the kind of thing you need to keep doing for the rest of your life. Once you're reset, you're reset and you're pretty much good to go. And, and that's the way I'm looking at it right now. So I hope this helps. Um, thanks again for being with me. I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I will talk to you soon. I'm Dr. Dave. And remember, as I say on almost all of my shows, sometimes I forget, but this is not to be used as medical advice. It's friend talking to friend. I'll talk to you soon.